And now, Drew Hinesley with News Channel 12 Sports. Jeff Lebo and his ECU Pirates had a lot on the line this afternoon when they hosted Ryder in round two of the CollegeInsiders.com tournament. They were looking for the first 20 win season in 59 years. They were also looking to keep their season alive for just a few more days. Petey was ready to go and so was the team. Players told me the crowd had them more focused than usual at tip off. On the break, Paul finds Richmond for three. You know what happens next? Swish. Akeem had eight on the day. Some good defense early from the Pirates. Kemp there on the block. Then Kemp gets the J on the other end. Pirates got off to a 16 to seven start thanks to a lot of points in the paint. Sampson right here with the deuce. The Bronx would prove feisty though, alley-oop, and then they would get a three from the corner. They would cut the Pirate lead to four. But the Minji's Maniacs were doing their job and helping the Pirates get it going again. Armstrong had 20 on the day. Roberts Campbell for three. Buckets followed by a Paul three. Then Paul with the alley-oop to Sampson. Gave ECU a 14 point lead. Ryder would land a few blows before half. One to Akeem Richmond that bloodied his nose. ECU led by six at the break, but coming out of the locker room, Ryder would put a run on the Pirates. They would make it a one point game with 16 to play, but the fans, well, they did not waver one bit in the boneyard inside of Menji's. Kemp would begin to impose his will on the Bronx. Then Prince Williams with the layup. Great night for Williams running the point. Then the highlight of the night, Williams to Kemp for the rim rocker. The crowd went nuts after this one, and you can take another look, and you can see why. Look at Kemp extend and posterizes the Bronx defender. The Pirates would outscore the Bronx 38 to 18 down the stretch. They win 75-54 to move on to round three in the CIT after the game. Players and coaches were talking about the role the crowd had in the outcome. You know, they definitely helped us get back in the game, and they're, they're always helping us get back in the game. You know, when somebody hits a big tray or camps dunk on three people or something like that, um, you know, just hearing the, the roar and the crowd and the chants and just the love from everybody, it's a, it's a beautiful place to play in, and I really give thanks to the fans. Yeah, I, I, said, I said it all. Yeah, I think we have the best fans in the nation, and uh, for them to come out and support us like this was huge. We, they, they have no idea how much we appreciate it, and we, we feed off their energy, and they definitely helped us out a whole lot tonight. Our crowd was unbelievable um, tonight, and I thought it was a factor in the second half, uh, no doubt about it. And, uh... ECU will host the winner of the Kent State Loyola Maryland game that will be contested tomorrow afternoon. Game time for Tuesday has not been set. Quickly, the only Conference USA team to make it to the big dance, Memphis, had to take on the mighty Spartans of Michigan State, and it did not go well for the Tigers today. Sparty blows them out 70 to 48. Michigan State alma mater of our very own John Erickson will advance to the Sweet 16 for the fifth time in six years. And I can tell you the first number one seed in the tournament has gone down. The Wichita State Shockers just shocked number one seed Gonzaga, Wichita State in the Sweet 16. That's all for sports. We'll have a final check of your forecast from Tory after the break. You're watching News Channel 12 at 11.